Hi, my name is Hafsa and I'm a first year's master's student at the University of British Columbia in the Plant Sciences program. I grew up on a blueberry farm here in the Lower Mainland region and I'm interested in integrating biodiversity conservation into agricultural practices. Today I'm going to be presenting to you my project idea for my thesis called Mediating Ecosystem Services Through Habitat Diversification Using Peppers as a Model. So the reason why we're using peppers as a model instead of a natural crop system is because they're mostly grown in greenhouses here in BC because of their high temperature requirement. So that's why they're a model for crops that have long growing seasons and high temperature requirements. Peppers are sensitive to pest damage and competition with weeds, especially during their early stages of growth. So how can we keep these guys safe, stress-free from any kind of pest damage without expensive infrastructure like polytunnels and hoop houses? One way to achieve this is through habitat diversification. So my plan is to set up these strips that consist of white clover and sweet alyssum ages into my rows of white peppers. So I have these three strips of white clover and sweet alyssum in between my two rows of peppers. White clovers are good at outcompeting weeds, supplying nitrogen to the soil, and have flowers that are more attractive to pollinators than pepper flowers. Sweet alyssum, on the other hand, is incredibly sweet smelling and also is known to attract a range of generalist predators. Together, the expectation is that outcompete weeds, supply nitrogen to the soil, mediate biological control by attracting and harboring predators such as ground beetles and increase pollinator attraction. So how will this benefit farmers and the sustainability of Canadian agriculture? Through habitat diversification, we can decrease our reliance on fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides. These harsh chemicals, especially the overuse of these chemicals, has polluted our waterways and infiltrated our food chains. A very recent study indicated that even very targeted application um, through coating the soybean seed with a specific kind of herbicide resulted in reduced predators' populations. And this is because the herbivores, which are slugs, were feeding on these plants, which were themselves weren't impacted by this herbicide. But when the ground beetles um, preyed on these slugs, their population, their abundance went down. So by implementing agricultural practices that serve to conserve biodiversity, we can help fight these problems by putting specific kind of plants in place that will add nitrogen to the soil and mediate ecosystem services like biological control and pollinator attraction.